What's up YouTube, it's Mitch again. It's been a while since I made another video, um, so I wanted to do something that it's a little bit more, not so much about fitness related this time, uh, but about a, a book that I've been reading. Well, more, it's um, it's an audio book, actually. I prefer, I have like one or two books that I actually read that are um, usually either on my phone or uh, like an actual paperback book. But I've been trying to get through at least, you know, two or three a month. Um, and then you have audiobooks on top of that, which I can listen to, like, in my car and all that stuff. And it's, uh, it's, it's pretty cool to be able to learn a bunch of new things. Things that kind of click in your head that you don't really think about on, like, a day-to-day -day basis. And one I wanted to mention today is, uh, The Purple Cow by Seth Godin. And it's, uh, he, he had a point that I wanted to bring up today. I'll try and make this video kind of short, but, uh, it was about leadership. And he talks about, uh, how flying, like, geese, when they migrate... Um, they go in that V shape, and he said, you know, he asked why, why would they fly in that formation? I never really thought about it before. Like, I, you know, you see them doing that, they start squawking and stuff, flying overhead, and I'm like, oh hey, what's up? And they're all flying in that V shape, which is kind of fascinating. But I never really knew why that was. And uh, he mentioned it that they have to, the the front, the guy in the front is kind of, you know, breaking the wind, so it's easier for the ones behind them in that V shape. But, I mean, you see them, they're not always in, like, perfect formation all the time. There's always one that's kind of, like, straggling. And that's because every few minutes or so, the one from the back, one of them in the back, will come around, make its way up to the front, and the guy that's in the front will go all the way to the back. And it's just amazing how they do that because they wouldn't be able to fly as long if there was always one dude up in the front that was paving the way for everybody else because it's... They, they kind of tail each other, and uh, it's a lot easier. It's like when you're driving behind a semi. You don't have the wind resistance. Like, you can go for a lot longer. I remember they had that on Myth Mythbusters. So every time I'm driving on the freeway or whatever, and there's a semi that's going a pretty decent speed, just get right behind them. You save on gas. <laughs> but anyways, it's, it's the exact same thing. But uh, he made the point that leadership is almost the exact same way, in that uh, you, can, you kind of have to be the leader at some points, but you also have to be the one in the back. You also have to be the one to, to look towards someone that's a little bit better than you and learn from them. Uh, kind of tail them a little bit. And then when it's your chance, get up to the front, pave the way, and bust through, you know, any plateaus that are in your life. And that, I mean, I feel like that applies a lot more to business, I feel like, for me. But, I mean, it can apply to a whole lot of things as well. But I just thought that was fascinating in that way. And that you don't have to be the leader all the time if you feel like you have those leadership qualities. And you don't always have to be in the back all the time. You wonder why people, you know, end up getting stuck in life and all that is because they, they play follow the leader and they're always stuck in the back, but they don't have a chance to grow and learn and get up to the front of the pack and do something crazy, you know, do something that they wouldn't normally do, which kind of puts them outside of their comfort zone. But um, hopefully you got some insight off of that. And I, I highly suggest you go read that book or get the audio book to, uh, to The Purple Cow. It talks a lot of, uh, it's a, more of a marketing book about finding that, you know, there's a million cows out there, but if you see a purple cow, like, holy crap, that's, that's a freaking purple cow. Like, you notice it. You notice it right away. And in marketing, it's kind of the exact same way if you want to sell anything. So, uh, if anyways, um, if you want to um, find out a little bit more about me, uh, click the link below um, to my website. I have a couple of different blogs. Um, more fitness-related stuff is at mindsetfitness.net. And I have another blog um, that I'll put a link to below. Go ahead and check those out. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. I will talk to you soon. Peace.